Across the world, more than 68 million people have been forced to flee their homes, according to the UN. This includes more than 25 million refugees. Emily Esponza is one of around 1 million Venezuelans who have landed in Colombia after fleeing hyperinflation and shortages of food and medicine. She hasn't seen her three-year-old son since leaving Venezuela months ago. The first time I called him, I called him from work and he didn't recognize me. He said I was not his mum. And that hurt a lot. A continent away on the US-Mexico border, this family is still together, but they can't cross legally. The moment they make it into California, they're detained. Mexican officials say as many as 1,000 people from a caravan of Central American migrants have skirted fences to reach the US since they arrived in Tijuana. The alternative could be a month's long wait before the chance to request asylum. I would like to tell the President of the United States that we are not evil and that we need his support. Meanwhile, in Europe, a group of migrants have been picked up by Bosnian authorities on the border with Croatia. Help us. Thank you so much. Two had severe frostbite after a day in the snow trying to reach the European Union. NGOs say Croatian police are pushing migrants back into Bosnia without due process. More than 3,000 are now cramped in improvised migrant centres in Bosnian towns. Conditions continue to deteriorate in camps like these around the outskirts of the EU as it tries to limit immigration. Last year, only 103,000 refugees were resettled globally, when on average more than 44,000 a day are forced to flee their homes.